The U.S. leveraged finance market had a strong first quarter. In the U.S. high-yield bond market, a record-setting January led way to a slowdown in February amid global volatility. However, the markets did snap back in March and saw issuance for the quarter of over $80 billion. The loan market also had a strong first quarter. However, the primary continues to be plagued by limited supply and strong investor demand. In February, over $110 billion of institutional issuance priced, setting a new monthly record. Again, refinancing and repricings continue to dominate the primary landscape. Also, Covenant Light issuance continues to be strong and set a new quarterly record. Fitch expects to see similar issuance volumes in the second quarter as we've seen in the first quarter. Refinancing and repricing volumes may slow down as we saw late in the first quarter. However, LBO, M&A, and opportunistic refinancings may increase going into the second quarter as we saw late in the first quarter. The major difference between the two markets over the last three months has been the wave of repricings in the U.S. leveraged loan market. The other major difference has been investor demand. In the U.S. high yield bond market, retail funds suffered outflows consistently over the last two months. For the quarter, high yield retail funds took in only $1 billion. In 2012, at the same point, high yield retail funds had taken in over $13 billion. On the leveraged loan side, loan retail funds have taken in over $13.9 billion for the first three months of 2013. In all of 2012, loan retail funds have taken in only $12 billion. Fitch's annual manual for the Americas is the second edition of this special report. The report covers over 200 pages covering complex issues and basic topics such as rating methodology and recovery methodology. It also serves as a primer covering both basic topics such as what is a loan and what is a bond. It also provides a macro view of the leveraged loan, high yield bond, private equity, and CLO markets. It also covers Latin America and the Canadian finance markets.